I think what I wanted to give with my talk was hope to farmers that New Zealand can have dairy and it can have good environmental outcomes and carry on. It's not so bleak as it's one or the other. I think the most important thing is to persevere and to persist. A lot of people think it's about talent and it's about ability and it's about who you know and what you know, but actually all of those things are givens, but they don't ensure success. Most people stop, they give up before they succeed. It doesn't mean to say that it would have been a failure, it just means that they didn't hang in long enough. What I have learned is that when the going gets tough, and it always does when you're pioneering, it never goes to plan, people are always not supportive. The best thing to do is put your head down, keep your hand to the plough, and just don't look back. Believe in yourself would be the key thing. You know, early on I thought, should I be the one doing this? Um, should everyone else around me has got more experience? Should I just stand back and let them take over? Um, but then no one else did, so. I stepped up. I think that one of the things that we have as a species is we're the, we're, the reason that we're alive now is that we're the most adaptive. And Kiwis are amongst the most adaptive people that I've ever met in my life. Huge challenge we're facing with everything in the environment space. And, you know, if we only leave it to a few people, um, those few people are going to be very overworked, very tired, um, and potentially burn out. Uh, there needs to be almost a think tank around what needs to be done and bringing in other people from other disciplines who can add some real value to the thinking. Change is here, uh, change will uh, continue to be part of uh, our farming uh, and that to be a resilient farmer you need to be constantly reflecting uh, on your wider environment, um, how your farm is interfacing with that environment and constantly looking at ways to improve your understanding of how you managing your various inputs on farm is going to be impacting that uh, uh, farm over time. And I would challenge that cynicism gets you nowhere. In the end you have to be able to understand what motivates the media which is to tell powerful and interesting stories and work with them to make sure those stories are as accurate and as balanced and as fair as you can. They have stories to tell around how successful they have been in these, their own personal sustainability journey uh, and that will be of interest to a local community. It's not, the race is not to the strongest, and it's not to the most intelligent. It is to the most adaptable. They have to adapt, they have to learn to find a way through to achieve their goals, or taking on board where all of these other people are coming from. There's no point shouting, they're not going away. Um, so they'll have to learn to work with these other stakeholders, frustrating as it may be. The future is positive. We just have to be willing to be smarter to make it the way we want it to be. We have to work together and we have to work with our communities and we have to keep our chin up because it's not going to be easy. I think every family, every organisation, every business needs to think about how they um, keep themselves strong into the future and managing risks that can undermine your strength. So I think sustainability means having a story for the future, being able to tell it powerfully and then live it and achieve it.